Throughout most of evolution, glucose, an essential metabolic substrate for life, has been scarce. Effective regulatory systems have evolved to manage and retain glucose. But for modern humans, the availability of excess calories combined with a sedentary lifestyle may result in a surplus of energy. In this environment of caloric excess, the incidence of obesity and type 2 diabetes mellitus is rising. Type 2 diabetes is a disease characterized by persistent elevation of blood glucose, progressive impairment of beta cell function, and increasing insulin resistance. Elevated blood glucose is associated with an increased risk of vascular complications affecting organs such as the eyes, kidneys, peripheral nerves, and cardiovascular system. Glucose metabolism involves several steps. After being ingested, glucose is absorbed in the gut and distributed via the blood to tissues and target organs. Insulin, together with other factors such as glucose transporters, plays a major role in this process. Glucose in the circulatory system is continuously filtered and reabsorbed in the kidney. Therefore, renal glucose reabsorption is an important element of glucose control. The sodium glucose transporter, SGLT2, is a transporter of sodium and glucose in the proximal renal tubule and is responsible for about 90% of the reabsorption of glucose in the kidney. By inhibiting SGLT2, renal glucose reabsorption can be reduced. This process induces excretion of glucose in the urine. This mechanism of action directly targets glucose by reducing its renal reabsorption. This mechanism of action is independent of beta cell function and insulin resistance. Individuals who excrete large amounts of glucose in the urine because of genetically determined defects in SGLT2 appear to have a benign phenotype, including kidney function. Reduction of blood glucose is associated with a reduced risk of diabetes complications. Most existing glucose-lowering drugs work through the action of insulin by providing exogenous insulin, increasing insulin production, or reducing insulin resistance. Multiple glucose-lowering drugs are often required for treatment. Therapeutic options, which work independent of beta cell function or insulin resistance, are currently under investigation. Clinical trials of SGLT2 inhibition are currently ongoing in patients with type 2 diabetes to better understand the effect of urinary glucose excretion on elevated blood glucose. The risk of hypoglycemia, given the action on glucose independent of beta cell function and insulin resistance. Caloric loss and body weight osmotic diuresis and blood pressure, beta cell function and insulin resistance because of glucose being targeted directly, genital or urinary tract infections due to increasing glucose concentration in the urine. Type 2 diabetes is a complex disease characterized by persistent hyperglycemia, progressive impairment of beta cell function and increasing insulin resistance. The disease often proves challenging to manage. SGLT2 inhibition offers a mechanism which directly targets glucose by reducing its renal reabsorption. SGLT2 inhibition works independent of beta cell function and insulin resistance. SGLT2 inhibition is under investigation for treatment of type 2 diabetes.